And this is girl number one, and she has a very, very tiny uh, white spot here in the back of her head, and a uh, very normal blaze on the front. She does have good marks on the side of the face. The brown comes all the way to the corners, has the brown eyebrows. Uh, brown on that side is very good. She does have the kind of a cross pattern on her chest. Uh, her paws are the normal white. They should be on all four. And she does have the brown in the legs. And, tail. and uh, her tail, yep, there it is, the little white tip on it, just perfect. Uh, all the tails are very, very she nice on them. She has perfect markings. She was, yes, as my wife says, I would say perfect markings on her. Very, very nicely marked. And uh, that is, again, girl number one. Okay, this is girl number two, and she's got a very small white spot on the top of the head, a nice blaze. She's uh, she's the one in the pink collar. Her brown does not go quite to the corner of her mouth on this side. And yes, and she's very hungry. And over here, you can see it doesn't go to the quite to the corner of the mouth either. Uh, she does have good markings, no collar. Uh, she does have the brown on the side of the chest like she's supposed to. She does have a uh, nice white paws all the way around and then the brown right above that which is still filling in it's still got a lot of the black in it and then the white tip of the tail let's see what her chest looks like if we can her chest she wants to hide has kind of a cross pattern to it uh, pretty classic looking uh, and uh, definitely a girl her umbilical cords already fallen off too so she's our girl number two this right here is girl number three. I'll pick her up in a second. You see she's got a very thin stripe also down the back of her head. A very nice little blaze. Looks very, very nice. And I'll pick her up here and we can get the rest of her. And uh, here she is. Uh, she has, as you can see, the brown on the corner of her mouth does not quite come all the way. That's a, a point off on this side. On this side, it's normal. Uh, very very well marked on this side. She has a beautiful blaze, just as it should be. Has the normal white paws with the brown above them, the rust brown, and the same on the rear paws, just fine. And uh, her chest, let's get a good look at her chest. Uh, classic cross mark on the, for the shape there. She's a look, good looking girl. But she is, uh, have that one fault that I see, she, normal white tip tail, but uh, the one fault is that one cheek that and one it, cheek. It might come on down later. It may come on down. I doubt it though. It's But you can see she, it's not quite to the corner of the mouth, but a good looking little girl. This one right here with the pink collar that she's touching, it's a very, very distinctive white blaze. Very nice. A little bit bigger than some of the other dogs. Still beautiful black coat. And uh, this is this is boy number one. He has a little bit more prominent blaze, uh, a, lot of, a lot wider. He, as you can see, his brown does not extend to the corner of his mouth on that side or on this side. It's going to be back a little bit. He does have a nice brown mark there, but it does not extend to the corner of the mouth. He does have the normal four white paws with the rust above them and the normally white tipped tail. Nice cross on his chest. Uh, very good marks. Uh, the white on the head's a little bit bigger than some people are used to seeing, although not abnormal. And uh, he uh, he does have a very prominent, large amount of white on his head and down the neck. He does not have a white collar. He all, it goes all the way down a little bit, has a little stripe, like a little zigzag type stripe there. Very nice looking dog. Uh, but uh, he's one of our bigger ones too. Beautiful dog, but uh, not sh not as nice as show marks. Uh, a couple of points off for those uh, cheeks that don't go all the way down with the up uh, uh, to the corner of the brown. This is boy number two and uh, very beautifully marked. Has a very thin little stripe going up the top of his head, but his normal blaze, very very normal. I'll hand him here to my wife so that she can get a good shot of him. And as you can see, his face looks just beautiful. Well, she'll get. She'll, the brown comes all the way to the corner of the mouth, and normal eyebrows. Uh, this side, same thing. Very, very attractive looking dog. Classic four white paws and the tip of the tail and the brown marks all where they should be. Uh, he does have the kind of a cross mark on his chest also, like uh, many of them do. Uh, and uh, he's just a very, very pleasant little guy. 
the normal little browns and everything else where he should. Very, very well marked dog. Again, uh, perfect marks probably is what I'd call that. Very nice. Uh, this is uh, boy number three. And he has a very small blaze up the top of the head, but the typical one in the front. Brown eyebrows. He has very nice cheek marks, if we can get a look here. Oh, might as well get a look at his chest here. He has classic white semi-cross on the bottom of his chest. He does have brown all the way to the corner of his mouth. Uh, very on both sides. He does have the brown on the chest. He does have all four white paws. He does have the white tip of the tail. And uh, the brown back here uh, looks very, very normally marked. Very, very normally. And uh, he's a very friendly. <laughs> Look at him go. He thinks he's going to get something to eat right there. Tail going like crazy. So that is boy number three. Okay, right here with the red collar, this is boy number four. And he's sleeping beautifully here. You can see the tip of his tail. They all look just like that. Nice uh, white tip, just as it should be. So we'll pick him up and get a good look at him now. And uh, tell you what the rest of him looks like. Okay, so here he is. And he's got beautiful, beautiful brown blazes on the side of his face like he should. Normal brown eyebrows. Same over here. Nice. Very nicely marked. Very good symmetry. Normal. All four paws are white with the brown, rusty brown above them, white tip tail, and uh, the classic kind of a cross. It, just perfectly marked, as she said. You can also see the pigment's already starting to come in on his nose. It's not all just bright pink. He's already starting to pigment up good, which is normal. I uh, start to see that this week. All of them have the pigment spots already. Good looking guy. The blaze on his head is is normally normal right down the front. He just has a little teeny additional stripe right on top of the head, just a little blaze of white little teeny tiny trail of it. Very good looking dog. Excellent marks. This is boy number five dozing right there. And I'll pick him up in a second. And he's a very good looking dog. Uh, as you can see, nice jet black all over. And uh, we'll get his the rest of his looks here in a second. So here he is. Here's boy number five. And uh, as you can see, the corner of this mouth, beautiful. Nice markings right down to the corner. Right down to the corner of the brown. Normal eyebrows, uh, a, a little little white blaze back here on the just neck, like mommy. Uh, just like mommy. He has a normal size blaze on the between the eyes. The brown on this is just perfect on this side too. You can see it comes right down to the corner of his mouth. He uh, classic cross on the chest. Uh, he does have uh, normal white paws with the brown, uh, rusty brown above them. Uh, going up the legs and a normal white tip on the tail there. Just a good looking little guy. I would I would say he also has excellent, excellent arms. This is boy number six wearing a little green and white ribboned collar. And as you can see, he's beautifully marked. Uh, we'll pick him up in a second. You see him, but he's got a beautiful coat to him. Uh, he's got all the all the right stuff. He's got uh, the full white paws and the Nice little white tip tail, and everything's just great about him. We'll pick him up and give him a good look in a second. And as you can see, he's got a beautiful face to him. He's got nice... Hold on. He's very quick, as you can see. Get a finger sucking on him and get a good view. You can see the uh, brown on his cheeks right there, kind of. The brown on that cheek. It goes all the way to the corner of his mouth. He's a very, very nicely marked dog. He's got the classic little brown spots on his chest there. He's got all four white paws and all the brown on his legs and the tip of his tail. Beautiful little face. Nice cross on his chest and he's just a good looking guy. The blaze on his head is is just on uh, up to his, the top of his head and that's it. And he's all black beyond that. Absolutely nothing else. All black. Just a nice looking guy. I'd say perfect marks on him. This little guy with the yellow collar, this is boy number seven. He's asleep there. We'll pick him up. But very nice looking dog. Uh, and uh, as you can see, normal white tips on the tail. All four paws that way you'll see here in a second. Very good looking dog. He's, he's a big one too. <laughs> he's our biggest. He's got a very healthy white blaze on his head and then a, a white yeah. splash going down a little bit down the back of his head. Now just a little fleck of white tip back there. Just a little bit. 
Uh, he has, as you see, beautiful rust on the corners of his mouth, all normal feet, uh, and uh, same over here. A little extra black there in the front, looks like it's fading already, uh, but very beautifully marked. He does have all four white feet, as you can see. His chest has the classic cross mark. Very, very classic, nice blaze on him. And uh, again, the legs are totally normal. All of these guys with uh, white feet and uh, uh, rust on the legs in front of them and a uh, little brown rear end. And he has longer hair than the rest of them. Yeah. So, and his is starting off a little bit longer than the other guys, so he may be a little bit longer coated. Still hard to tell though. Nice looking dog, excellent marks. This right here with the blue and white collar is boy number eight. And uh, another very, very nicely dog, marked dog, as we can see from right here. Another one where there's no white going down the neck and the back of the head at all, it's just the normal blazes. So we'll pick them up and get a good look now. And uh, as much as he doesn't want to be woken up, so. The, uh, as you can see, a very, very, very nice rust mark there on that side goes all the way to the corner of his mouth as he thinks he's swimming. This one does too. It barely makes it to the corner, but it does. All the way there to the corner. Nice rusty mark. He does have the normal cross on his chest, as you can see. Very, very typical. A little bit smaller mark for the white there than, than some of the other ones, but a very, very nice pattern to it. He does have the four normal uh, white uh, tips to the feet and on all and then rust above that and then the normal white tip tail. Very nice looking dog. Again I'd say this one has excellent marks. Okay this guy right here in the army green collar, this guy right here, nice looking dog. He's trying to burrow underneath though, kind of hard to see. We'll pick him up and get a good look at what he looks like. Come here buddy. And. Good looking, good looking dog. One of my favorites, personally. Don't tell the other guys. But as you can see, he's got beautiful rust on his cheeks, his eyebrows, like they all do. And on this side, the same, all the way down to the corner of the mouth. Come on, buddy, turn your head. There you go. And he has classic four white paws, nice white blaze tip on the tail. And the blaze on his head is very, very typical, very nice. And then he has that little teeny tiny trail of white going down like some of them do. Beautiful, very, very well marked dog. And his chest is a classic cross. Uh, it's got a little extra black mark there, kind of filling in there. Pretty normal. And uh, just a good looking dog. I'd say again, this one has excellent, excellent <laughs> marks. <laughs> and he loves being held, as you can see. <laughs> and even though I ruined their sleeping time by picking them up and moving, as you can see, they very quickly went back into sleeping mode. A couple are still crawling around here. The last one we for handling there. He's trying to find himself a comfortable spot, but just very, 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 very comfortable here. They're dozing in here. We'll get in a couple of good shots here. Just loving on each other, just hanging out. And can you hear them? Yep. Probably looking for Mama to get back in here and feed him, which we'll get in here and have her do very quickly. Oh, hey, you're resting good there, aren't you? How does that feel? Feels good, doesn't it?